Hello there, my name is Ismaus, and today I want to show you how I made uh, this scene here uh, in Blender 2.8. Uh, yes, so it's a very easy setup, so let's not waste a lot of time, let's just dive into it. Just so if you create, just bring back this. Uh, to create uh, this material here, uh, this shader here, you just have to add, uh, use whatever shape you want, maybe a cube. I'm just going to use a cube. And uh, if you go to the modifiers, you can add a wire uh, modifier. Uh, this will this will render only the wireframes. Uh, but uh, if you want to keep uh, the faces, you just have to uh, uncheck this replace origin, original, so that you have something like this. And uh, you need two materials, uh, one for the faces and one for the edges. So let's create uh, those two materials, uh, like so. Uh, this one can be whatever you want it to be. I'm just going to make it uh, dark and uh, reflective. And uh, the second material is going to be emissive. Uh, so let's, uh, you, you want to up uh, the value quite a bit here uh, so that you have a more strong emission. Uh, just set it to something like four or something. And then uh, under your modifiers, you can select what a material your wireframe should use. Uh, so I'm just going to select material two. And you can see we have that. Now you can give it any color you want. You can see what we we have, and uh, basically, then you just duplicate this around. You can even duplicate this around. Change the heights until you get uh, the shape you want. And uh, to have some reflections, uh, like you see in here, there is a slight reflection uh, there. Uh, you can just use a light. Let's say. If I add uh, an area light, the uh, just scale it up. Just going to use an area light with a type of uh, disc. I can even start seeing uh, the reflection coming up. And uh, if I increase uh, the size, increase, just make this a little bit. Can also reduce the specularity to reduce how much of uh, the reflection appears. Now you can scale this up. You can see how it gives uh, that silk uh, look uh, to the uh, to the asset uh, to the object. Yeah, so that's how you get uh, that. So you just strategically uh, place uh, these uh, spheres or these lights around to have uh, those nice reflections. Uh, so what else? So for the sun, I just did some trickery here. So it's just a, a linear gradient. I can see here. I fade into a mixed node uh, to blend in uh, those colors. But uh, if you look through the camera, you can see that uh, we have some clouds going in, uh, going through uh, the uh, the sun. Let me just place them. And uh, basically, what this is, just basically paste them. So basically, what this is, it's just a a, a plane or a mesh, just uh, like this, and uh, just delete uh, the, the those vertices so that I have something like this, and then go to the modifiers and add a skin modifier, and uh, then. You would subdivide this a few times, and uh, then uh, turn on proportional editing. Then scale the middles up and scale the outsides uh, down. Then you place this in front of uh, the sand disk, which is just a, a circle mesh, and then you can create those cloud effect. So I'm just going to scale this down a bit. Something like that. And uh, then you can give it a, a material of its own. I'll make it a bit darker. And uh, just to control the opacity, you just make sure you turn on alpha blend and then reduce uh, the opacity like that. And uh, I think for the most part, that's it. And yeah, I'll be uh, uploading the time lapse of how I made the entire thing. But uh, Basically, that's it. Uh, what I also did was added a uh, volumetric, some volumetrics here. So I added this volume. 
uh, to have that haze uh, in the atmosphere, uh, which is basically a principal, uh, a princi a principal volume connected to the uh, volume input of the material and uh, to get that uh, effect. Yes, yeah, so if you want to watch the time lapse, I'll be uploading it after this video. So thank you.